Morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I say morning, I always release these videos around 6 p.m. my time, so like 5 Eastern. I don't know why I say good morning, probably because I'm filming in the morning, but I should know better by now. In any case, I've got a haul video for you here. It's just uh, some clothing from our regular uh, chain of thrift stores that we go and pick up from. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started here. Uh, there's a good mix of stuff. We've got to start off these torrid size, what's this, this 2R, whatever that is. Just these nice lightweight black flowy pants, very, very wide leg flared at the bottom, <clears throat> kind of harem type pants. Torrid is our number one performer brand wise so far this year in clothing. Uh, we've done the most volume of sales and then of course the most actual income from selling Torrid. So not a whole lot of it's gonna make a ton of money, but it just, it moves. A bunch of it moves really fast, so. And we do find it quite quite a lot, so. All right, we've got this 511 Tactical shirt. This is a brand that has definitely fallen off quite a bit, but these button-up shirts, this one's really nice. Actually, this is a snap-up. Um, this is in a medium, so this is my size. I, I was kind of thinking about keeping it for myself. I don't think that I will, but um, probably not gonna get a lot of money for this, maybe like 20 bucks, but that's okay. 511 has definitely fallen off a little bit, especially with their, their not new with tags items. All right, we've got a Levi's 501. Um, so these are the button fly, of course. This is in a 3834, so a pretty good size. Um, <clears throat> I've talked about this before. I tried a pair of 501s. I tried the button fly. It feels like a whole lot of work when you need to pee, so I don't like them at all. I don't know what the appeal is with the button fly. Maybe you got some better airflow or something, but I just do not like them at all, but they sell. So I'll sell them. I will sell them to you if you like them. <laughs> all right, we got a Tommy Bahama. That's a nice, uh, this is very different. It's not like their usual Hawaiian style prints. This is a very, you know, just, just stripey, but artistic kind of a print. It's a silk shirt. Probably get about 30 bucks for it. <clears throat> All right, we have a jersey here. This is the the Vikings, Minnesota Vikings. I think that's, yeah, Minnesota Vikings. And this is Bridgewater, number five. I don't know who this is, but when I saw this, I kind of laughed because I used to live in a town called Bridgewater. So I just thought it was kind of funny, but I have no idea who this player is. Um, most NFL jerseys, you know, I get like $40, $50 for, so it's a pickup. And this is kind of nice. This is a, uh, a women's medium, so a little bit of a smaller size, but it's an L.L. Bean faux suede Sherpa lined vest. I know we're a little bit of season for this, but it's just really nice. And it's got a nice little uh, pattern on the back there as well. So I uh, figured I'd pick this up. You know, it might take a little while to sell, but probably an easy $30, $35, somewhere in that range. And uh, again, a little bit out of season, but I mean, <clears throat> these North Face soft shell jackets really can't go wrong. Pick this one up. This is in a men's, what size is this one? This one is actually in a men's small, so it may take a little bit longer to sell. But actually, you know what? I do pretty well selling small sizes as well. I think it'll do pretty well, probably, <clears throat> probably about $40. I would say. It's the one, sometimes you get some more info from the sleeve. This is the TNF Apex. I've sold this exact one in larger sizes for like, you know, 50-ish, so. All right. <clears throat> sometimes pulling clothing out of a bag and trying to find the top <laughs> so that I can actually display it. Like, what am I looking at here? Uh, this is a Lane Bryant, so this is a big size, and it's, um, you know, it's like, kind of, what would you call this? Some kind of a drooping neckline, little crossover, long sleeve, very nice stretchy top. I don't know, <clears throat> 25 bucks or so. We've got a Lane Bryant dress, so this is actually really nice, it's a nice, Kind of semi sheer it almost looked floral but it's not it actually has this almost 
Bowden type of reflect, uh, like repeating circular pattern. And uh, anybody who knows Bowden at all recognizes that right away. But anyway, a nice long dress. Um, probably, I mean, Lane Bryant isn't one of those brands that's gonna bring a whole lot of money, but their dresses can do pretty well. I'm guessing probably around $30 for that. So here's a brand we do not pick up very often. We don't see very often, but every now and then we'll see it new with tags. And this is a pair of pants, Cider. These are 3XL. Just a nice, you know, check plaid style pants in a 3XL, very wide leg. Nice, big, comfortable pants. They're not gonna be huge money. Cider is definitely not a brand you're gonna make a lot of money off of, but I mean, you can probably get 25, 30 bucks for those new tags. <clears throat> so this was unique. We don't expect to get a lot of money for this, but uh, this is a Star Wars dress. And much like the Sailor Moon dress we picked up recently, this is, you know, definitely gonna require a, a certain buyer but uh and it is in a little bit of a smaller size but yeah i mean it's just what can i say it's a star wars dress like you can tell when you get a little bit closer there you can see a little bit more details and stuff um yeah i mean i don't know i don't know what's gonna go for it's like i uh, pretty much have to pick that up even if it sells for like 20 bucks and here we have a mod cloth Mod Cloth is a brand that, you know, typically does pretty well. This one has a bunch of, like, sea animals on it, um, like fish and crabs and stuff, and octopus. I don't know. It's an interesting, uh, interesting print, but <clears throat> someone will like it. So this is an LLB. This is a men's large. This is one of those, like, nice uh, vented you know, hiking or fishing shirts, roll tab sleeves, lightweight, got the little opening in the back there. These typically go for, you know, 25 to 30 bucks. And, oh yeah, this is mine. I forgot this was in there. So I got myself a Metallica T, Master of Puppets. Definitely one of my favorites from them. I think Kill 'Em All, the, the first album, is my favorite uh, Metallica album. I just like that early, raw, very, you know, much more punk style, uh, thrashy style, I guess I should say. Not to say that I don't love Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and, and some others as well, but I like the early stuff. Uh, same as today, I'm actually filming this on the 35th anniversary of Nirvana's Bleach which everybody knows, never mind, which was their popular album. I love Bleach. It's got that early, just raw uh, feel. So that's what I like. Oh, fun fact, Kill 'Em All by Metallica, their very first album, was released on the exact same day that I was born. So uh, all you Metallica fans feel a little older on that one. And we got this new, uh, no, not new. It's this J. Jill kind of tunic length top. Nice little pattern on there. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. It almost looks like floral, but almost like a trident as well, which is interesting. Could I put this as floral nautical? Maybe. All right, and another J. Jill here. Just a, just a kind of plain button-up shirt, but in a very nice color. Camera's not really doing it justice. I guess maybe there's a little bit close. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a nice lemony yellow. Nice lightweight, soft feel. And this is, oh, this, this is one of the most fun ones to photograph. So this is a Torrid, super soft, open cardigan with the little pop pockets on the sides. I hate photographing like open flyaway cardigans and stuff like that, cause they're just, uh, they're so hard just to get in a good position to, to get photographed, but that's all right. They make some money, so it's worth it. All right, we got a Travis Matthew size large golf polo. And, you know, good, good performing golf brand. Another Tommy Bahama silk shirt. This one again isn't like a normal uh, Hawaiian print. This one's more of like a diamond 
argyle kind of print, but with that Tommy Bahama flair, it's, you know, not straight up. But yeah, it should be about 30-ish. Uh, it's got the wooden buttons, so that's that's another good selling feature for Tommy Bahama. If it's silk with the wooden buttons, that seems to go uh, really well. And so here we've got a J. Jill as well, another, this one's a little bit heavier. It's a nice stretchy thing, but as you can see from the back, the entire back, like the bottom part, is all lace detail, and it comes right up along the sides as well. So uh, this should be a good, should be a good 30 anyway. <clears throat> And then the last item in this one, uh, it's pretty basic, but it's just like this, um, it's meant to look distressed. It is a Harley Davidson uh, tank. And it's some kind of Operation Personnel Freedom, the Wounded Warrior Project. So I, I, that's the only reason I picked up a non nuatex tank is it definitely has some you know, military association as well. So I feel like that will add a little bit more desirability to it. And then it's got that you know, kind of natural like faded look. So it's obviously made to look that way. But um, yeah, so that's that. I think, yep, bag is empty. Um, no huge, huge bangers here in this haul, but you know, again, good solid inventory of bread and butter items. I forget what we paid for this stack, but you know, our average buy cost works out somewhere around like 650 after taxes. So I mean, if I'm selling things for 20, 25 bucks, still making decent money there. Um, I've been tracking all of the stats, all of the money, all of the, uh, the little inputs throughout the year. And most months are average profit per item. So out of everything that sells, the average profit per item after backing out cost of goods is usually around like $13, $14. So if I'm averaging over $10 profit on everything I'm listing, I'm, I'm very happy with that. And it's been up around 13, 14. So I know I've had some people ask me like, hey, why are you even bothering picking up things that are only gonna sell for like 20 bucks? Well, the reality is, you know, every time I spend say $6 and then make seven, eight, nine dollars in profit, that's still like a great margin. So if I'm doing that, 100 times, 200 times, 300 times. I mean, that's that's huge money. So, I mean, not huge money, but it's great money and it's and it's money that I can then reinvest to get those items that do pull in more uh, profit. So, anyways, that's that. A little bit about the numbers as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.